All right, so check this out. We're gonna, we're gonna take a bag, plastic bag, right? Where's that from? And um, you've maybe you've maybe noticed this. You, you're carrying a lot of um, you know a lot of milk or something in your bag, and, and the handle starts to cut into your fingers. And you notice it stretches out. And so actually, there's some really beautiful material science that's going on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this plastic bag. I'm gonna start to stretch it carefully. And you can see what happens. So I'm stretching the handle out carefully here. All right, and you can see it's plastically deforming. Okay, it's plastically deforming. Oh, and I ripped it. Let me plastically deform it a little bit more. And depending, I mean, this, this bag was gray to start with. So you don't really see too much, but sometimes you actually see an optical change resulting from the change in the in the polymer uh, alignment inside the, redu the 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 plastically deformed section of the polymer. So this is stretching out. We're plastically deforming it. It's actually necking and continuing to elongate. This is maybe less dramatic than I'd hoped it would be. Uh, there you go. Okay. So I don't know how well you can see this, but see how, yeah, there we go. You can see these regions where it's plastically deformed. See here? And it's actually, if you try this for yourself, you convince yourself, it's actually gotten stronger there. It's a little bit, if you stretch it, you can feel in that region, it's harder to stretch it out apart. Um, and that's because the molecules actually have become aligned with this axis. So if I, I'm, I'm loading it horizontally now. Right, I'm stretching it out horizontally, and now I've I've aligned the molecules with this horizontal axis. I can do it a little bit more, and the molecules are aligned now horizontally, left to right. Um, and so the cool thing is, it's gotten stronger. It's actually it's difficult to see here on the camera, I think, but it's gotten a little bit more white, and that's actually because the, there's some crystallization occurring, and there's some organization of the molecules but now what I'll do is I'll take a little take this, take this piece out of that um, neck region and uh, there we go okay and it you know that it's been oriented here horizontally okay now the molecules are oriented in that that horizontal direction so if I take this now and I stretch it vertically perpendicular to what we know is the molecular orientation look at that it stretches so easily because we're overcoming, in fact, you can even see it tearing there because we're overcoming these weaker secondary interactions between, um, between the molecules. Now, here's the other cool thing. So I can take this now and I'll stretch it back out along the loading axis and just look how the molecules all start to line up again along the loading axis. Oh, I tore there because of that thing on the bottom. But here's another piece. Oriented along the loading axis here. <laughs> well, let me pick up a piece that broke. All right, there we go. Okay, and we'll stretch it out along the loading axis. And we can stretch it now perpendicular to the loading axis. And it stretches so easily. Most of the molecules are oriented horizontally. And again, I'll carefully stretch this back out for you this way. And the molecules become oriented with the loading axis, and we get an oriented polymer here. Now, then, so this is okay. It's a plastic bag, but industrially, this is relevant because you can actually draw fibers, polymer fibers, from the melt, from a molten state, into fibers with the molecules oriented along the loading uh, axis, and make really high-strength, lightweight polymer fibers. That's how Kevlar um, is produced, or spectrofibers, and oriented polyethylene. Anyway, interesting. Hopefully, that's cool. I encourage you to try that for yourself because it's actually a really neat uh, exercise. Um, <laughs> probably neater than watching me do it uh, on the on the camera here. But uh, try it for yourself.